Hey guys, it's Bethany. Welcome back to my channel. So today is BoxyCharm Day. I am so excited. Um, it's October, it's my favorite month, and I'm hoping that there'll be like fall themed stuff in here. So I'm excited. But I do want to say before I open it that I am going to be doing a review at the end of this video of last month's box for September. And um, I've been using the products ever since I opened it. And um, yeah, I just want to do a quick review for the items in there. So, if you're interested, then stick around at the end of this unboxing for that. So, let's jump right in and get in there. There's got some worms hanging out of this one this month. Yeah, now let's just get right into it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am so excited. So, this is what the box looks like. And it says Faces of the Moon. Like the faces of the moon, a part of us is always hidden. This month, embrace who you are and let the enchanting beauty of all of your faces show. Remember, you can always be whoever you choose to be. The stars will align in your favor. Let your light illuminate the darkness. I love that. All right, I don't want to look at the back because I just want to dig right in. I'm already seeing some objects, so I'm so excited. Grab this one first. This is rejuvenating rejuvenating antioxidant mask oh can i open it oh, okay we got it we're ready oh 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 that smells amazing this is what it looks like by the way and it's like i already took the thing off but ooh. It smells wicked good. A Palmina Derma Rejuvenating Antioxidant Mask. And it is full size. And it goes for $64. That ain't cheap. Good God. Okay, so. The soft clay in this mask gently purifies the skin and cleanses pores by absorbing impurities. Its advanced antioxidants defend against free radicals and reverse daily skin damage. While in... While well, its cooling effect refreshes and soothes. For a bright, smooth skin, apply a thin, even layer to face and allow it to set. Rinse with warm water and pat dry. Dang! I'm excited for this one. Mmm. I love the smell of it. It smells like, um, it has witch hazel in it. Let's see if it does. It's gonna take too long. Whatever. Moving on. Next thing I see is in bubble wrap. Oh, scare my dog. He's, it, you're fine. Oh, he's leaving the room. So dramatic. All right, this is Vincent Longo. Mm. Smells like snow. Let's see if I can get it out of the box, though. That's the challenging part. So, this is a Vincent Longo Trio eyeshadow. And it's got like really cute little patterns in it. Cute. They're not my favorite colors like normally that I'd be wearing. Um, I do like purples, but it's usually like dark, dark purples. And I guess this one is nice. I like the peach a lot. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Let's see if you guys can see these. Let's see what kind of colors. This one's like a little light, but not bad. Vincent Lago Original Trio Eyeshadow. This is full size. This goes for $30. What? This eyeshadow trio combines three carefully selected shadows in a single pot to make professional color matching a breeze. Apply the darkest shade to your crease, medium shade to your lid, and use the lightest shade of the trio, the highlight, on your brow bone and inner corner. Don't forget to blend. I don't know why I just smelled it like it would actually have a smell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Moving on, Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Oh, it's a cheek and lip stain. Oh, I like that. It's like a peach. It's a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. That's still really pretty. I think it would be better for me, for my skin tone, it would be better as lip stain. Okay, it is the... 
Bella Pierre Cheek and Lip Stain Full Size. This goes for $19.99. Use this lightweight, oil-free cheek and lip stain to add a subtle flush to any look. Apply using a lip brush or gently sweep product onto lips with your finger. Apply a small amount of product on your cheeks using a synthetic brush or dab lightly with fingers to blend. I've never had the best of luck with like cheek tints and stuff like that, but because I think it's because I'm so pale, like no matter what color they are, it's like looking a little clown or I just really need to practice on doing my makeup. But anyway, it's still really cool. I'm excited to use it. I'm always excited to try anything new. I just think it's really fun. That's what I love about these boxes. Uh, next item I see. Yes, I absolutely love nail polish. I've been so excited to get nail polish in this. So this is the color that we got. I love gray nails. I think it's awesome. Especially for this time of year. So cute. Okay. This is... It says Colt Cosmetics Nail Polish. Full size. And it's $12. And it is in the color... Boneyards. <laughs> oh, that's cool. They're vegan friendly. Well, that's really cool. I love the color. So, the last thing in the box is... Lord & Berry Line Shade Eyeliner and Shadow Pencil. Let's see here. Oh, Dark Black is the color I got. So it's just regular eyeliner. Let's see here. Oh, it's it is creamy. It's nice and black. You know. Last but not least. Lord & Berry Line Shade Eyeliner. This is full size. This goes for $18. Achieve eye-opening intensity with the Line Shade Eyeliner Pencil to provide rich, consistent color. These pencils are blendable and also waterproof. Sweet! All right. So, that is everything in this month's box. I am so excited! For everything I got. Um, I'm, I think I'm most excited to be honest about the clay mask. I love masks and I'm obsessed with the way it smells. I love it. It just like it. Oh, it's on there. Yep. That's good. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I just, I love, it smells like fall. Like, mm, it just smells like so relaxing. I love it. I am very excited to try that. And Next month, Box of Charm, I will be reviewing all of these products as well. So, speaking of that, now I'm going to review last month's box. So, last month we got, it was the one, Runway Ready, and we got the Provice Skin Care Hydro Milk Hydrating Lotion, full size. Um, I did like this. I used this every single day for a solid two weeks. And at the first week was amazing. I loved it. I found that my, it made my skin really, really, really soft. But I did, and I don't usually, depending on what I use, but um, I don't have that sensitive of skin, but I did start to break out. So I did stop using it. Um, but for people who have really, really dry skin, I think it would be amazing for because it's you know, for hydration and stuff. I did like it. It just, it didn't really work with my skin. So next is the Basanti Professional Foundation Brush. Um, I don't usually use these with makeup, like foundation. I usually either use them with a clay mask or if I'm doing, um, like makeup effects, like if I'm doing Halloween makeup or painting somebody's face. And for that, I absolutely love this. I have a video that's coming out for, I'm going to be posting, and I did use this in the video to apply my Halloween makeup, and I love it. It's so soft, it's great, but I'm just not a huge fan of when it's for like foundation. I prefer a beauty blender. Uh, but anyway, next, this is the Tarte Smolder Eyes. And I got it in the color Fig. Let's see if you guys can see. Oh, yeah. Good swatch there, Beth. Right there. And it came with the little smudger on the other side. And this one I am so impressed with. I absolutely love it. I wore this every single day, pretty much, for the last couple of weeks. And 
Um, I love it that you can smudge it out. There was one day I just didn't feel like putting makeup on. And I just put it on the top lid. I smudged it out, put a little on the bottom, and I was good to go with a little mascara. So, I absolutely love this. I will say, though, like, they are not kidding when they say waterproof. I've been having some issues getting this stuff off, but I guess if you're going out, that's a good thing because it stays. So, but I absolutely loved it and I loved the color that I got it in. It was I like a purple tone to it. So again, it's great for fall and yeah, so I love that. Um, the next thing is the Chella Eyebrow Defining Gel. This, um, I think I've used the most out of this box. I use this every single day now. I like it because it's not too thick. I used to use the e.l.f. brow gel, and it was just, it, you, like, if you caught the light in the right way, you could see, like, shininess on your eyebrow. It's like, nobody wants that. So this is really, really thin, and I like that. So I really like, too, that this doesn't have any color to it. Um, I don't like the ones that are tinted because they've never really matched my eyebrows. So yeah, I really, really, really like this, and I would highly recommend it. So, and the last thing that, oh, no, not the last thing. The next thing is the scratch nail wraps. I really liked the pattern of them, and I thought that they were really good quality. They went for $12, and I did think that they were worth $12, but I do think that if you are applying these to fake nails, because I always have press-on nails, I wouldn't recommend them. Um, if you have, if it's you're just putting them on the, your normal nails, then I definitely would. I will put a picture in now of what they looked like in the end. But it said in the instructions to put a clear coat on top of them to make them last longer and i only ended up doing it on one hand because the minute i did that they started to peel off so they didn't even last an hour for me um so i do think it's because i had fake nails on but other than that i would definitely recommend them i thought they were great the last item that we had oh and it leaked something fierce okay is the kardashian beauty black seed dry oil this was our bonus item and this is another i think one of my top favorites i absolutely love this so much to the point that i'm ordering a full-size bottle um from ulta my ends are pretty dry because obviously i bleach my hair and I just loved it. I love the smell of it. I like the way it made me, it made my hair feel. I was just so, so impressed with it. So yeah, I absolutely loved it and I would highly recommend this. I absolutely loved it. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you guys want me to keep reviewing these. I actually like doing it. I like being able to use every item in the box every month and then kind of giving my opinion on it obviously it's just an opinion so not everybody's gonna agree but again i will put the links for boxycharm in the description box below with all of its information and everything so you guys can go and get your own go check it out i hope you guys enjoyed this and uh don't forget to thumbs up this video comment below and subscribe till next time bye guys